So my name's Sai, I work at Bingo Hall uh, and I'm recently like learning like different things about the place, so like how it all works and that. I've been there for a year now and I'm a bit, I'm a bit of a slow learner, <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, but um, yeah, so uh, working there is really good because it's it keeps me a schedule and I've not got like much of a scheduled personality. Like I'd go like out one day, doing this the next, on one hobby, on to the next. So it's good to keep like something like similar flowing through the week. And I look forward to it because I've just learned uh, cash line. Uh, well, when it first happened, it was like, whoa, this is pretty pretty scary at first. Like At first I was a bit nervous because I was a bit shy and I wasn't used to being around like a lot of people. And then now I'm like more like climatized to it, if that's the right word. Uh, so I'm more chilled out about it now. I'm more like relaxed and it's just the best way to be like i'd say 2013 i'd say i started like getting work opportunities because before i didn't really have an agency or anything like i did some things that went viral because everyone was getting me confused with their cheering and stuff like that because everyone was telling me that oh my god you look just like him you should uh, be a lookalike yeah they are really supportive like my dad's always like willing to drive me to places and like make sure everything goes smoothly and stuff so i am really thankful for that they were more proud of it than anything like because at least I've done something for myself and like I've found something where I can make a bit of money out of it or a bit of publicity and stuff like that so it's something that's a bit I'd say a bit more successful than what my grades were saying in school. <laughs> he contacted me like I met him like when he wasn't as big like you know outside his gigs and stuff like that and like, he'd, he, can, he could come out on the street then and like be all right uh, but uh, it was after one picture went viral and it was me at like an illegal rave and then uh, some guy did a funny pose and then like, it went around the internet. I think Rizzle Kicks found it and then um, tweeted him like, Ed, when did you do this? And then he's out like, I don't remember doing it. I don't remember being there. I must have been really drunk or something, like proper confused. And then uh, all my friends were like, Ty, you're all over Twitter. Like Ed's tweeting about you and everything. And I checked my phone and I was like, no way. And like, they were all tweeting like, it's Ty Jones, it's Ty Jones. And like putting my Twitter thing on there and stuff. And then he managed to get in touch. When I met him, like, he was just like laughing his head off and stuff and then because we're the same height it's literally like looking into a mirror because like he's where your face would be on a mirror like when you look into a mirror it's sort of weird. Not much wind anyway. So we're doing an interview today and it's going to be fun. We're going to go to Manchester and is it Manchester and or is it? I've forgotten where it is. <laughs> uh, it's somewhere anyway, and hopefully I'll get some footage on that. I can hear the wind again. I do like vlogging and YouTube and stuff like that, and the one thing that motivates me, it's pretty weird, is I had this um, this manager that was really jealous on what I did. Like, say if uh, I'd tell him, I'd be like, I need some time off, like in a few weeks time, I've got a part for a film or something like that. He'd get jealous and say, you're going to get the sap for it, you're going to get this. And I just didn't like that, and I thought, I'm going to switch to something else where I can be sort of my own boss sort of thing, so we used the YouTube is like another outlet, so if I get a few views and do the revenue and all that, then I could make a bit of money from that. Man, now this place is really busy. We just got stopped and asked if it was Ed Sheeran. First time today. Maybe I might get it in a vlog. I don't even know if you can hear me on the mic, so. Anyway, time to find my station. There's like a few things that I enjoy to do, which is like the radio communications and stuff like that. And I, well, I got into radio communications when I was younger. And uh, there wasn't like that many phones going around then. And I bought a walkie talkie and then I used to speak to my sister and stuff like playing with it. And I was pretty young then and uh, someone actually come over the, this walkie talkie and I was like, no way can I speak to another person. So it sort of opened my mind and I was like, I got like proper hooked then at that point. I was like, you can speak to other people. It's like amazing this. And then as the years went on, like they all have like the set channels where everyone goes on. There's always drama and stuff to listen into. and. Like you can always like speak about like your day and stuff and someone will respond and so you have a conversation about things and then uh the hang up uh i've got quite a few like phones that i listen to and stuff like that and their sort of systems uh what else and then i go on channel three and then see if anyone's out there so it'd be like channel three any copies and then if anyone's on there they'll give me a reply but i don't think there's anyone on today <laughs> The, the main channel where everyone goes on is like the main wall. So someone's having a conversation about one thing, there's loads of people on there saying about all other stuff. And it's just everything in one. And then if you want to have a conversation with someone, say 
you strike a conversation with someone, but it's not like, um, I wouldn't say it's like Facebook is like really private, like, oh, you can't message someone, you can't do this, you can't do that. It's whoever you can hear, you can talk to sort of thing. So it's more open. Also doing me other hobbies, like the free running. There was one thing that made me pretty proud and that was in Manchester, I was doing some parkour. And then um, there was like a restaurant on top of a building, well, not on the top, but like on a high story of a building. And I was on a few roofs and they were like bang, trying to bang on the glass and like get the attention. And they were like, do a flip like that. And I seen this alleyway and then there was like a little gap. And I ran and did a front flip over this alleyway and then landed it and it just felt incredible. It felt like I've just done something like mental. And then I looked at the restaurant and seen how happy everyone was and they were like jumping around like no way. I usually wear like comfy clothes like trackies or something like that. And if I'm like usually on my own and just chill a lot more and then if I do have an appearance or a gig then I'd wear like the jeans and stuff like that and the tartan shirts. I do like to wear jeans like when I'm going out and stuff if I want to be more smart than just lounging around the house sort of thing. I do like the normal lifestyle because then I can do things that I want to do rather than have a manager like oh you've got to go you've got to go there. You've got to have um, security guards constantly you don't get any of your own space and stuff like that and just because they're good at something or because they're icon about something I don't feel like Someone should be isolated from the rest of the world. What makes them different to everyone else? They're just good at something, you know what I mean? Ed Sheeran. Oh, okay. All right. Um, the Manchester Evening News Arena was probably one of the worst that it like it was bad because uh, I was just like waiting outside his concert, thinking I'll get a few selfies. It'll give me a bit of publicity, well, good publicity, and then. Um, uh, it, it did, but it didn't at the same time because I got literally mobbed by thousands of people like all around me. It was boiling up because of the crowd and then there was a girl having a panic attack in front of me and she'd gone white and she was like falling down and stuff. And then I'd grab this girl like she was about to fall literally on the floor and get stampled on. Took her to security like wading through the crowd like everyone out of the way and stuff. Passed her to security then the crowd just somehow merged around me again. <laughs> And then um, it got worse and worse until the police come through and then they like barged through everyone, grabbed me by the arm and then like dragged me out of this crowd and then literally just like threw my hood up. And then they were like, Ed, what are you doing coming out of this concert? And I'm like, I'm not Ed, like, I'm just his lookalike. And they're like, what, really? And then they stopped whilst everyone was still around, like, are you really not him? And then I was like, yeah, yeah. And then like they took me out and then I waited, into, um, I waited in the police van for a bit until it all died down. So I'd say lookalikes, it does have its pros and cons on like my normal life. Like it does give me a few little opportunities. Like say, I went on holiday in Zanti and then ended up on stage with Devlin and that was pretty fun. Um, I also got like put on like the VIP section of a boat party for, for free. Cause like people were always asking for pictures on there and Yona was like, oh, do you want to come here and like, like chill out, free drinks, I couldn't complain. So it does definitely have its pros and cons and stuff. I take appreciation in, I don't want to be that person that turns down selfies because if someone wants a selfie with me, like, I feel it's best for me to decide, which I prefer, like, if it makes people stay or it makes people happy and it does things like that, I prefer to, like, take the selfie with them rather than having someone to say what I've got to do and stuff like that. My maths teacher once told me, you'll never be successful in life without maths, but I said, I am. Think about Ed's albums, plus, multiply, divide. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> every time one of them comes out, I've got a bit of a paycheck coming in, so I can't complain. <laughs>